new video from Marion County, Kansas shows the moments police raided a 98 year old woman's house. Uh, that home belonged to Joanne Meyer, the co owner of the local paper. She died from a cardiac arrest a day after that surge. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley is here in the studio with more information. Peyton. Well, we've been following this story where computers and phones were taken from the newsroom of the Marion County Record newspaper for the last week now. Police also had a search warrant for the home of Joanne Meyer, who co-owned the paper. Cameras inside recorded video of the raid in her living room. Don't you touch any of that stuff. You can hear the anger from 98-year-old Joanne Meyer. This is my house. As law enforcement raids her home. As you can tell, she doesn't put up with much. Bernie Rhodes, an attorney representing the Marion County record, says none of this ever should have happened. Get him out of here. If they only would have listened to her and left her house, we wouldn't be in the problem we have now. And by the way, Joanne Meyer may still be alive today if they would have listened to her and just got out of her house. I don't want you in my house. Meyer died one day after the raid. To know that less than 24 hours she died as a result of this, it's heartbreaking. The Marion County Coroner's report says she died of sudden cardiac arrest. Get out of my way. It's all right. I want to see what they're doing. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to connect the overwhelming stress of this illegal raid to a cardiac arrest less than 24 hours later. Rhodes says Joanne's son Eric didn't release the video until now because he couldn't bring himself to watch it. It wasn't until after he buried his mother Saturday that he finally looked at it yesterday and sent it to me. And I said, Eric, you have to let the public see this. You have to let the public know what happened. We got the coroner's report today. It says Joanne Meyer couldn't eat or sleep after the raid because she was so upset. She died inside of her house. Layton, thank you. The Marion police chief led the search after a local restaurant owner accused the newspaper of illegally accessing her information. Uh, the Kansas Department of Revenue says online searches of the state websites are legal. All of the seized evidence was returned.